welcome to another episode of The Clueless Drinker. Today we've got Perga Uko Zwickelbeer from Rutebroi, another German brewery. And I have actually had this one before, but it is the first Zwickelbeer that I will be reviewing. This is coming in at 4.7% in a half litre bottle. A really nice simple label, nothing too exciting going on on the crown. Uh, yeah, nice green colour scheme and um, yeah, let's get it opened. Oh. And look, it's a bio beer, so all you crazy vegan <coughs> jobs are good. Wow, you get a real yeasty smell already from this beer. Nice level of smoke, not too much going on. Uh, but yeah, let's pour it. But yeah, Zwickel is a sort of beer that I've not really tried too much of. I mean, I've drank a lot of Keller beer, because that's very common type of beer in Germany. If you want to find out a little bit more about Zwickel then I will be putting information down below but I'm sure a lot of you seasoned veterans will know a lot more than I do obviously. Uh, yeah so in the glass it looks quite pale actually pale golden strawy sort of colour with a just under two finger white head doesn't look too um, carbonated uh, yeah, quite cloud. Well, not quite cloudy. Relatively cloudy. And um, yeah, nice and hazy. So let's give it a sniff. Straight away, you're getting the yeast in there, which carries on some citrus smells in there as well. Wet grass, straw, that sort of thing. And almost has that um, like mashed up apple peel sort of vibe going on it smells this one specifically anyway smells like a really toned down lambic beer but with an almost sort of lager underlining note but yeah very sour very sour in the sniff so let's have a sip cheers Yeah, it's got a dankness to it, uh, a bitterness to it, it's sour, quite sour actually. Not sour so it like makes you squint up or anything near like that. Like I said, it, it's got a slight feel of a very weak sort of lambic. That yeastiness is just punching you. I don't know, really picking up like apple in there and on the aftertaste it's almost like a very slight aniseedy licoricey sort of flavour there's some sort of herbiness there um, it's quite earthy as well and it's got what's the word that I'm looking for very slight floral characteristics as well <laughs> zesty yeasty Quite punchy although it does rest and uh, it tones down a fair bit after the initial tingling on the tongue but yeah that is sour yeah almost like a lambic sort of crossed with a lager that's that's just what I've got in my head right now. Describing this really strangely, it doesn't taste like a bad batch. It's just slightly different to what I remember. I remember it being a lot more zesty actually. The the, the yeast is the most dominating factor in this one for me. But yeah, all in all, it's a really nice beer. Um, it's not one that even though it's only four point seven percent, it's not one that I'd try and chug down. I'd rather take my time with this one because there are there are some complexities to it. Uh, got a thin mouthfeel, um, and it actually feels a lot more carbonated than you see in there. You're only getting very slight bubbles in that glass. But it, a nice tickle of the tongue. Water quality is up there as well. It feels very nice in the mouth. But I wouldn't really suggest this to everyone. This Zwickel beer is a really nice one. Um... Nice solid beer. It's not one that I'd jump out and buy again, but I wanted to pick another bottle up and get it reviewed. And I will be doing more Zwickel beers in the future. 
Oh, excuse me. If you want to find out more about this beer and the variety of beer, if you don't know it or whatever, uh, then I'll put links down below as well as any potential purchase links. And of course, if you want to check out more beer reviews from me, I'm getting really sluggish right now, uh, then check out the Clueless Drinker playlist in the description box as well. Thanks for watching, guys, and until the next time, cheers.